Hey, this is Padoodles. It's late on a Tuesday night, but I just wanted to share this quick video. I picked up some bags today at the Dollar Tree. You got three bags for a dollar, and they were just, I thought they looked just beautiful. So I was trying to think of what to do with them. So I decided that I would make a journal. So I took the bag apart, and I cut it open, and this is the journal here. Okay. And when you open it up, I made it so it'd be a pocket here. Then that's the first page, a little ornament, little decoration. This pocket, this page here. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Has a tiny little booklet in it. A couple little pages. Nice little tuck spot and some washi tape. The next page, it has a little pocket here. Trimmed with some vintage lace. Another page, the little butterflies. It's from one of the um, scrapbooking pages. I just kind of cut it up. This right here has the belly band made out of vintage lace, some little flip pages that I've inserted in it that you can take out. More journaling pages, lots of those. This is an old envelope, so you can insert stuff in there. More journaling pages, lots of journaling pages, some um, doilies, a little saying on this one, create your own happiness. Love that saying. And on the opposite side, it says happiness. This is the back of the little mini gift bag. Of course, this is a pocket too, and I have inserted a tag in there. And it just ties. All I did was I um, cut all my papers to size. I think they were actually about four by five or three and a half by five. I punched holes in all of them. This is the original handle of the bag. Once I punched all the holes, I scored everything for about one inch from the edge of the paper bag and the edge of each one of the papers and threaded each one of the little ribbon through there. Um, the ribbon did have, which made it very easy if you want to try this, the ribbons did all have at the end of the handles, I'm just going to show you right inside of here, which made it very easy. Can you see that? So that made it very easy. And once I got it all threaded, tied in a pretty bow, I put a key on one end, trimmed it with a little pearl. Same thing here, just put a flower there, trimmed with a pearl. On the back, I did not tie a bow. I tied my two scraps together to make it long enough to tie. Put a little um, flower there, another flower on that end, trim that with a pearl, and when you flip it over, it's also a pearl on that side. The book has about 20 pages, so that's, you know, a pretty good size for journaling. Make a nice little gift for someone. So again, here's a quick flip through. That's the cover of the book. Pages. This is a cute page here. I didn't show you this one. I love this design. Look at this. That was really pretty. I like that. A little paper clip there. Trim with the lace. So again, thanks for watching. It's just a really quick video. I just wanted to make because I just love the way this turned out. So again, thanks for watching and have a wonderful evening. Good night. And if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Thanks. Bye.